Hi everyone, Renee here, and today's video is one that's actually very, very important to me. After my last video about tea, a lot of you wanted to know more about my own personal journey with hormonal acne. There's never really any one thing you can do or take or eat or one change you can make that will really solve all the problems. I do feel like it does require a small lifestyle change for there to be a difference. Today I'm going to talk with you about something that has really helped me tremendously and that is supplements. Today I'm going to talk about the five that are most vital to me and there is absolutely no question in my mind how valuable these supplements are in my daily life. So there was definitely a period of time where I did seek the help of um, doctors of integrative medicine. I just didn't want to treat symptoms. I wanted to find the root of why I was feeling like crap every day. And it really came down to whatever caused inflammation or hormonal imbalance in my body. And that's when I really embraced the holistic approach. I started taking supplements and being more mindful about you know the way I eat. And it ended up being a big factor in my skin not breaking out so much, as well as me understanding exactly how to properly treat my skin. And it is the clearest now than it's been in years. If I had even started this channel a year prior to when I did, you would have seen the mess that was happening. And it's not that I don't get zits, it's just that they don't appear in clusters anymore. Nowadays it's like one will start to appear, I can sort of feel it under the skin, but very quickly it will sort of retreat back in defeat. It is important that you make sure you get the approval of a medical professional before you take any supplements because what may be harmless to one person can really affect another one. Everything that I'm talking about today has been recommended for me by a doctor. And as far as expectation goes, um, it took me a few months before I really noticed the impact it had on my skin. And that makes sense because our skin has a 28 day cycle of regeneration. So I would say it takes like a couple of cycles before we really um, start to see the difference with the new skin underneath. Of course, I think a good balanced diet is really important. It's not like, you know, you're eating pizza every night and then you take these supplements and it's going to change anything. And I feel like when my skin is out of control, just consistently producing these inflamed like cysts, clearly something is weaker and needs extra help. There have been studies that show that people who suffer from acne are commonly deficient in certain vitamins and minerals. And so that's where we need to supplement. And that's what I'm going to be talking about. So let's talk about zinc and for once we are not talking about sunscreens. So dietary zinc is one of the most studied natural treatments for acne. As I mentioned before that acne sufferers tend to have deficiencies in certain minerals. Zinc is one of the most common deficiencies that people with acne have. The way it works is that it has an effect on eliminating acne causing bacteria similar but not as effective as the way antibiotics do. It's also anti-inflammatory in a way that really benefits acne prone skin because it can reduce the skin's inflammatory response to acne causing bacteria. One is acne prone because of the way their skin responds to this behavior. It responds very strongly and very reactively, whereas non-acne prone skin is far less reactive to this bacteria. This also has some anti-androgen impact as well. As I mentioned in my spearmint and green tea video, androgens are the male sex hormones that are responsible for wrecking havoc on our skin. It's stimulates the production of that really sort of heavy, sticky, um, pore clogging sebum, the kind that bacteria is so attracted to and just feeds off of. In fact, some believe that this is one of the few supplements that can have more of an impact on your acne when taken orally um, than when applied topically. So I was told to take zinc picolinate. It is more effective because it has higher bioavailability than other forms of zinc. That's, so with inflammation, we really need to look at our guts that's where it starts and then just sort of disperses and affects the rest of our bodies. Gut issues or anything that affects it, poor digestion, stress, allergies, intolerances, this can all show up on our skin and aggravate acne. Digestive health really is something that affects so many issues in our bodies, not just physically, but also emotionally as well. Probiotics for me is a daily requirement. It makes such a difference to my well-being. They help create a healthy balance in bacteria, which is really important for our digestive health. You never want to have an imbalance where there's more bad bacteria because that is what causes all the inflammation. And so I do want to take a moment and talk about probiotics um, and finding the right ones because recently they have been under fire. 
So because these are not regulated by the FDA, the concern is that you may not be getting what you think. So the information on the packaging will inform you of how many billions of live cultures are or how many probiotic strains are in each capsule. The issue is with many of the probiotics that were tested, you're actually not getting what you think you are. The capsules within the bottles were all containing very inconsistent counts. Another reason why they came under fire recently is because it was discovered that a bunch of probiotics, particularly the ones that require refrigeration, were not even able to withstand our internal temperatures and would be killed off before they reach our gut. So before, for me, I always preferred to get at least 30 billion live cultured probiotics. Recently, I found a new probiotic company that takes this all very, very seriously. In fact, it has you know far fewer live cultures, but it is just as effective, if not more, than the other ones that I've taken. Their whole thing is that it's quality over quantity. They regulate exactly how much goes into each capsule. So every single time you take one, you're getting exactly what you're supposed to. So what's great about this and more new probiotics that are coming out is that they have the ability to reach our gut and thrive there where they can really do their work and it makes a huge difference. So yeah, it's important that when you're looking for probiotics, just take these things into account. So another one that I rely on very heavily is the bee complex. This is a really powerful one for your skin and for hormonal acne, but you know, I do take it for just so many other reasons too. I actually like this more than just separately taking B6 or B12 or B3, which as we know is niacinamide, mainly because they work so much better together than separately. But B12 and B6 work brilliantly together. B6 is great for hormonal acne, but you want the B12 there because it helps make the B6 more bioavailable. This is really great to take for PMS, but vitamin B6 is really effective at reducing our skin sensitivity to androgens and the havoc that they cause. In fact, a dermatologist recommended that if specifically taking the supplement for hormonal acne, then it is best to take it during your period and just stop when it ends. So I haven't tried doing it that way, so I can't speak um, for its effectiveness because this is a supplement that I do take every single day. In fact, it's again, one of the few supplements that I feel like have just a very fast impact for me. Taking a vitamin B complex alongside zinc is just wonderful for acne treatment. Yeah, they work so well together just to even just boost immunity and faster wound healing, which is a great thing when you have acne. These are essential fatty acids that are definitely essential in my life. I'm also gonna talk a little bit about evening primrose oil, and I'm gonna explain a little bit of why um, it's evening primrose oil does not work for me, and why I far prefer the omega-3s and choose to take that instead. So these are fish oils that can have an impact on acne from both the hormonal side and also the anti-inflammatory one. These can lower androgen levels, which is why it's something that is so highly recommended to take during PMS or to ease PMS symptoms. So when you look at the supplement facts, you're gonna see EPA and DHA. Those are the ones that are really essentially going to help you. You may see another type of omega-3 oil, which is alpha-linolenic acid, which is also great, but not as effective or direct because it has to be converted into EPA or DHA. There's also evening primrose oil, which is so widely publicized to have a good impact on hormonal balance and PMS. So the entire time that I was taking it, I was getting breakouts and they were along my chin. So they're hormonal breakouts. And it basically comes down to the fact that evening primrose oil is an omega-6. So omega-6 and omega-3s need to work in a good balance with one another for us to have optimum balance in our systems, which really depends on your own personal situation. While omega-3s lower inflammation, omega-6s can actually increase inflammation. For me, I realized that my own personal diet is already very high in omega-6s and not as high in omega-3s. So the additional omega-6 supplementation without additional omega-3 supplementation just kind of made everything go off balance. But also I feel like the way I am physically is I'm just so much more prone to inflammation. It happens just so easily with me. So, so in order to balance all of that out, it's been so much more beneficial for me to take omega-3s than omega-6s. So this is a supplement that I have been forced to take because my levels are so low. The way vitamin D is great for your skin is it helps combat inflammation and infection the two things that make acne. 
There have been studies that show a correlation between vitamin D deficiencies and acne. A D deficiency is definitely more common with acne sufferers than with those with clear skin. So this also has an effect on the inflammatory response of our skin. As you know, an inflammatory response is what happens when our body is battling bacteria. So vitamin D is supposed to stimulate a response that will fight the bacteria, but without the inflammation. So this basically helps protect your skin from all that irritation that can happen. The studies have shown that vitamin D won't have any impact on how many clogged pores you get or closed comedones, but it can help reduce the number of inflammatory acne you get. So I always get vitamin D3 because that is the kind that is more bioavailable and ready to be used by the body. So that is it. Those are five supplements that I currently just can't live without and they have made such a huge impact on my skin. I hope you found this helpful. Please let me know what supplements you are taking. I'm very interested to know. So please just put them all down in the comments and thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'm wishing you great skin health. Bye.